got him. I saw something working. <laughs> yes. There's the fish. Hello everyone, Dennis Fish here. Welcome to my channel. Today it's about 7:45 a.m. and um, we are at Bird Branch Lake, and um, I'm very excited about today. Um, it's been a while since I've been on. It's been over a week, and I do apologize for that. Now the Lord has been. Um, convicted me about some things and I want to let everybody know that this is about the gospel of Jesus Christ it's not just about a fishing channel so I'm putting God first right now I want to let everybody know that God loves them very much and if you've never accepted Christ it's an opportunity for you to make a choice that's going to affect you for eternity because heaven is real and hell is real but this is the thing. We all go through suffering, every single one of us. And with Christ, there's peace no matter what the storm is, okay? There's peace. With that being said, anyone that's never accepted Christ, I would, ask, I would like to ask you to repeat after me. Lord, I confess I'm a sinner. I know that I've done things my own way repeat after me I know Lord I've done things my own way but now I'm ready to surrender surrender my whole life to you Lord Jesus I confess I'm a sinner and I and I know that you died for me on the cross in three days you rose again from the dead by the power of the Holy Spirit with the resurrection power and are now you are now seated at the right hand of the Father I pray that you forgive me of my sins that you, that you become Lord of my life. I surrender everything, and now I'm ready for you to become Lord of my life in every area of my life, body, soul, mind, and spirit. I ask you to forgive me of my sins, and I just praise you and thank you for what you've done for me. And Father, now I've become your son, and now you are my heavenly Father. I want to thank you for doing, dying for my sins, Lord Jesus, and I just give you all the glory and praise. Father, thank you for sending your son to die for my sins, and I want to thank you for this, Father, in Jesus' name, amen. So if you meant that with your whole heart, and you make him Lord of your life, and you start going to a church, be around others that love Jesus, Read his word every day and have a real relationship. And now you will be his bride because this is about becoming the bride of Christ and being his part of his body. You will find out that this moment is very precious to the Lord. And don't be surprised if you get a confirmation between a vision or a dream or just from a word from some bystander person that you don't even know that's going to confirm the fact that you have accepted Christ as Lord in your life. It's an exciting moment, and the angels are rejoicing. With that being said, in Jesus' name, let's go fishing. We're in the lake. Okay, I want to go over with what I have on my first rod and reel here. I have the Teckle Sprinkler frog I've never caught a bass on it um, I do like the way the hooks are set up and it's a little bit off here all right there you go the hooks are automatically already out a little bit from the the lure rubber the rubber lure uh, and it is it's basically like a um, buzz bait um, and uh, but it's it's a frog so 
Um, I'm excited, that would be really exciting if I caught a bass on this. So we're gonna try that for a little while. There is overcast at this point still. So there's a possibility I could get a bass to react to a top water lure. So that's what we're gonna do. That is what we're going to do. <clears throat> See what happens. It'll be interesting with an overcast situation in June like this. It ought to be very interesting how the bass respond today. And I am seeing, I'm already seeing what looks to be fish chasing bait fish out from the island over here. I'm gonna try that. You know, that's one thing I've never did done very much this island over here I'm heading towards right now that you see okay um, it um, is a place I know people fish around it all the time boaters fishermen and as you can see I just saw a little swipe over there I don't know what that means but I'm, I've got the shallow um, square bill on right now same one I caught the uh, five pound bass on one time here and we're gonna see what happens Want to see what happens. Oh yeah. Exciting, it's exciting to be back in this lake today. It's been a while. I wanted to change things up, go to different lakes, different situations. And um, so it's good to have change. I see that, you know, those dead limbs over here. I'm seeing little tiny swirls, which, yep, exactly. It's called working a point. See if I can get something to respond to this crankbait. Also see a, a water bird over there, so that's a very good sign. That means I'm doing some things right here already. Trying different locations in a lake at certain times, always a good idea. Change things up. It's just, I don't know. Um, let's see what we can do here, guys. I think I gotta hit it. I gotta hit it. I got fish. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah, I've got a fish. I'm almost positive. I got him. Yeah, I've got a fish. Got him. Whew. Thank you, God. Get him in here, man. He might have swallowed that. I hope not. I got him. Decent fish and everything. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to put a video out. <laughs> yes. And finally. Yeah, he's not very big. I'm not gonna lie, he's not very large. But that thing picked it up. And he finally got it. Definitely got it, right? Yeah, you see it. Oh yeah. All right, I'm gonna let him go, guys. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. 
All right. That was cool. That was cool. And you couldn't even hardly feel him. It was crazy. It's all, the line just started moving just a tad little bit. That was awesome. Guys, that was awesome. And that just goes to show you. That's the first time I've ever caught a bass on a creature bait, just to let you know. That was a challenge. I didn't even say the word challenge, but I didn't even really care about doing that. I didn't even want to do what I just did, believe it or not. But I thought, you know what? I've always been told, go smaller, 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 smaller. When you don't when you don't get anything on the larger baits, on the active baits, you go smaller, okay? You go smaller. All right, everyone. Um, we're going to go ahead and try this again. It is between 7.30 and 8 p.m. at night, the same day. Um, as you know, we only caught one bass at Bird Branch Lake earlier this morning. And um, the conditions are rainy. And we're going to see what we can do right before the sun goes down. So let's see what happens. Dude. I saw that. Fish. Bass. He's on it. I got him. He ain't off. He didn't come off. I caught him. I caught him. Guys, I told you this place could get dangerous at night. It's just that it's hard to see. Okay, guys, let me breathe a second. I caught the fish. I caught the fish. Now I'm gonna get the phone out. Okay. Guys, there he is. I don't know if I can get him up. He's actually not too bad. You know, there he is. I'm sure you can see it. So, I'm gonna let him go, okay? Okay, I'm gonna let him go. Go ahead, go, go ahead. All right, thank you, Lord. That's what you do, you don't give up. All right, so you don't see everything, so you don't see, but that was cool, man. Oh my Lord, I thought he was bigger too. That was crazy. All right, guys. I'm gonna fish a little bit longer. Infant fishing at night for bass. Whopper plopper. Bass at night. I know it. All right, everyone. I hope everybody enjoyed the footage tonight, especially the second part in the city lights at night at Lake Beulah. So until we see each other again, God bless.